And the bar is open. Welcome to this whiskey extravaganza. This is a whiskey that I bought from M&S. This is their uh, Kilcockman um, Isle Single Malt Scotch Whiskey and it is 46% by volume and it is 70 CLs. Is that how it's pronounced? It doesn't look as though it's Kilchoman or Kilchoman. Or something like I that. I forgot the way that the guy said it, the one that marks his pencil. Well, he said it wrong. So, because <laughs> look, it's K I L C H O M A N. Oh, wait, you've been drinking this already. I have been drinking it, but I decided to also feature it on the program because mm. to show those of you that haven't um, experienced it to maybe give it a shot if so, you come to the UK. It says that this is Eileen's. Farm Distillery, so Eilly Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, non-chill filtered, no colour added, from Loch Grunart. This is yours. Do I add water to it? I could if you want. And how should you add water to whiskey if you're doing it? I think, so that's... Actually, it doesn't smell that strong. Oh, it is. oh, was it? Maybe I just didn't get, didn't get the proper whiff of it. Oh, you've got water here, right. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Slancha. So I've got my, my water. Do you want to taste it before you add it? Mm, I think I should water it down a little bit. How much? Just a splash, right? Mm, yeah. Oh, like, a, like a drop. Yeah. That much? More? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Have I spoiled it? Oh, no dear. comment. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. It's quite fiery smell. Mm. Oh, oh! Even with the water. You put a lot of water in. Blimey, it. that is strong. It is Look, 46%. Feel the heat, feel the heat. So this is a peaty whiskey, meaning there is like a uh, smoky aromatic flavor that you mm. get when when you go well not go oh. when when you savor it what it. when it goes down your throat you do have this fiery um, feeling that coats the back of your throat now usually when you are having whiskey you are sitting down in the armchair with your slippers on wearing that weird hat that you've got like a cap type thing and smoking a cigar so this is quite unusual for you isn't it Paul to be just standing up at the bar having it anyway it's from the M&S collection and it says every bottle of collection spirits is crafted with unrivaled quality and exceptional taste each one is created exclusively for M&S in collaboration with some of the world's best distilleries so we'll come on to the Kilchoman or Kilchoman story in a moment and we'll finish off with the tasting notes at the end but how does it taste to you my dear i do have i do feel like there is a uh, like some berry notes to it like maybe oh uh, rosenberry or no, a star trek like maybe gooseberry or something like that or something citrusy i do have the citrusy taste to it Mm, there is that. So I did something different there. I swirled mm. it all around my mouth. And That's I, how you should be doing it. Right, I've never done that before. And it's complete. And then when I swallowed it, it wasn't like the eyes going to the back of my head, but I got a whole different range of, of flavours. I actually... Don't hate it? No, well, <laughs> I was going to say that I tasted the equivalent of what fire smells like. Or smoke, really. Because what I used to do as a child... You know that I used to set fire to things? Yes, I was an arsonist. Uh, <laughs> now I'm just an arsehole, some people would say. Um, but what I used to do, um, I would get some like paper and sticks and build a little fire in the, in the garage. No, and then matches and stuff. 
And I actually set the chimney on fire at home when I was a child quite a few times and the fire brigade had to come out. Um, yeah, and, and in fact, I did it when I lived on my own. I first had to live on my own. I set fire to the chimney, but not on purpose that time. I wasn't, no, it wasn't on purpose ever. It was an accident, but I was actually trying to light the fire. But that's the smell. I'm getting the, the, the taste equivalent of that smell of ambers, right? <sighs> Kind of like burning seaweed, which is kind of what the peatiness is. Like it's kind of like the, like a burning seaweed type of taste. Right. So the Kilchoman story, it says that the Kilchoman distillery sits nestled amongst the traditional buildings of Rockside Farm on the renowned whiskey making island of, it's not, I know it's not, I, it's Isla, right? Isla. Now it's an Isla. It's Isla. Oh, well, you'll need to sort of comment and write in and tell us what it is. Famous as Eilie's Farm Distillery, their barley fields stretch west to the shores of Macher Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. Kilchoman is unique in many ways, most notably for their 100% Eilie range, Eilie's only single farm, single malt. Established in 2005, Kilchoman is true to Eilie's rich farm distilling heritage, using local cut peat Slowly distill it, slowly distilling by hand, maturing on Eilie and bottling on site with colouring or chill filtration. What's chill filtration, Paul? That'll put you to the test. Paul, you shouldn't be doing this in public. Have you been drinking too much water again? Don't be silly. I am just standing next to the water feature. And I must say that I do want to feature our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. So why not subscribe today if you haven't done so already? Hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Is it triple, triple distilled? I think that they just have to put it through the stills. Mm -hmm. So it goes through one and then like, I know that Distillation is when it goes through those still the those, copper, yeah, those copper yeah. tin things. Is that like the mash tun and all that sort of stuff? So some of them have like two, like the like like then other ones have three to like mm. say, okay, we are more pure than than you. So oh, really? I think I don't think we should discriminate. I think no, they're it's all just a different... kind of the same. It's just like the purity or what one thinks is more pure if it goes through a few more times I suppose. I see. Well now let us find out if our tasting um, I do uh, taste ideas. Like some citrus notes. Too. Yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll compare our tasting ideas with the tasting notes. It says Loch Grunart is a vatting of Kilchoman matured in both European and American oak casks creating layers of rich fruit and butterscotch. Oh, I love butterscotch. That balance with citrus sweetness and peat smoke character for which Colchoman is famous. So you're right. There is citrus fruit in there. I didn't read this when I said it. <laughs> well, I suppose you've drunk half the bottle already. So... I didn't drink half the bottle. No? Oh, well, maybe almost. <laughs> I did... I did get it for Christmas for myself. So. Oh, right. Okay. But I, I do have to say that th this is quite a drinkable one because when it comes to whiskies... It's a drinkable one. I'm yeah, no, 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 no. But sometimes it's, it's like just so strong and harsh. Because you've had other ones that I've had and then you're like, oh my God. Well, I'll tell you the ones that I don't like. I don't like Japanese whiskey. Because it tastes like... No, it, tastes, it tastes like the... The grainy stuff. Yeah, it, all, it, it almost tastes like like the rice wine or something. I don't know. Oh really? No, there's just something about it that I don't like it at all. Um, and the glass that we're drinking out of, well, I've got a Loch Lomond, and this is the one from um, the one from Northern Ireland. Oh, this is because I broke the original, mm. and then we went back. Yes, we went the whole way back to Donacha D, or is it? Port Divine, I'm never too sure. On Hope Street. Yeah. And what was the name of the distillery? Can you remember? Copeland. Oh, Copeland, yeah. But if you do watch Hope Street, 
Um, you will see signs for the, the distillery, and it's called something different on there. <gasps> yeah, mm. but they, so they just covered them up. Yeah, so I would say this is a, I would quite recommend this one myself. Would you say it is 10 out of 10 from you? Mm. And if you want to give us a 10 out of 10, maybe you should subscribe, isn't that right, Paul? So if you liked anything that you've seen, hit the subscribe button for those that haven't subscribed already, and keep your likes and comments coming because we do read them as well. Yes, and we would like to have at least 100 views on this of episode. Of course. <laughs> so, Why <yeah>. not? <laughs> or even maybe 10 hundred. Or 10,000. Or a million. Let's, let's, let's get this whiskey to a million. Yes. <laughs> the world's our oyster. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Ooh, we've still got half of this to drink. Do you want any more? Mm. No, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> I think I should give up for the going's good, don't you? Are you having more? I had a bit more already. Oh dear, it's, it's bringing on my acid reflux though. I think I'll have to take a pill now as well. On top of that. So not only will I have the pill, but I'll be like on fire at the same time. Is it bedtime? Night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Mm -hmm.